everyone, happy Monday. Today is February 12th and it is my first day back at work. Right now it is 7.01 and I'm about seven minutes from work. Um, I got up this morning at 5.20. Cash actually woke me up at 4.30 for a feeding, um, which was really frustrating because I knew I had an hour left to sleep. Um, so after he ate, um, I actually just lay him down next to me to eat and then um, he'll like kind of fall asleep after he's done and I'll kind of fall asleep. And um, so I probably got an extra 30 minutes before I had to wake up again. So then I kind of snuck into my bathroom, started getting ready. He woke up around six to finish eating because he only ate on one side so I had to finish on the other side. And then I took him into my mom's room in his dock -a to finish out the day, or the morning, I guess. Um, and I finished getting ready. I made myself breakfast. I just have a protein shake with some oatmeal, strawberries, some almond milk, and then some organic protein. And then I had a piece of toast, and I also have a banana in my backpack. Um, I made all my lunches for the week last night. I made just like ground beef, rice, and green beans. And then I like pre-packaged all my snacks so that all I have to do is like grab them and throw them in my bag. And that way I don't have to try and do that in the morning as well. Uh, what else did I do? I got out a bottle, started um, thawing some breast milk and it's on top of the stove in a glass container filled with hot water to stay warm so that when he wakes up here in about 20-ish minutes, my mom will have a bottle ready for him. That way he's not like super upset. Um, and then I left the house around 6.40. Um, because it's Monday, I'm supposed to be doing PLC with my team, but I'm gonna ask them if they don't mind just letting me not join them this week. First of all, I don't have any data for them because I haven't been there um, and that's really what they're talking about so um, I'm just gonna ask them if they don't mind if I just take this morning to get everything ready to go because I have pretty much everything ready I just have a couple things like I need to put my schedule up I need to change my calendar I need to like make sure everything is ready to go for when the kids come in because um, I did film a video when I went to my classroom last weekend uh, when I rearranged everything but I realized after watching it back after I had edited it and it was it's actually uploaded to YouTube it's just I didn't post it because I was very angry in the video and very negative and I just felt like I didn't want to be I didn't want to be negative if that makes sense um, my class has had a lot of behavior issues the last um, month that I've been gone because of my long-term sub quitting and then they got another sub who never really got to be trained by me and because I'm on FMLA I decided not to plan for them so it was kind of you know a disaster in there and Part of it is my fault, yes, but another part is like, I'm not getting paid to do this and I'm gonna spend as much time as I can with my son and that's what I did. So I'm gonna have a lot of damage control this week. Hopefully it won't be too bad. Hopefully they'll be like, oh, it's Miss Valdez, we know what to do. Um, so we're gonna spend today, like most of the morning, just kind of going over um, procedures and expectations just so that they know like, you're not gonna continue behaving the way you did when the sub was here. Also, I took away flexible seating. They all have a desk now. They're in kind of like a double horseshoe figuration. Um, they have desks and chairs. Jennifer and I switched furniture. I think if you guys watch her Instagram story, you guys saw that. Um, and so that's kind of an update. I'm trying not to think about the fact that I had to leave my baby this morning. As I've said before, my mom is watching him today and then Scott will be home tomorrow and he's gonna be with family, so it's kind of easier to leave. You know, it's not like I had to drop him off at a daycare or, you know, with a stranger, so it's a little bit easier on me. Um, I didn't cry, I haven't cried yet. Um, I've gotten like misty about it, like thinking about it like last night when I was rocking him to sleep and I, you know, kissed him before I put him down. I kind of like got a little misty, but this morning not so much. I think it's just because my mind is focused on work and, you know, 
Megan from Too Cool for Middle School sent me a message last night on Instagram just wishing me luck and saying, you know, you'll enjoy peeing by yourself and, you know, eating without with both hands and so I'm just going to relish in those good moments that I know are here and I'm going to try not to make myself sad or stressed out because that's just not going to help me because I do need to pump and, you know, everything like that. So I just got to work. I'm going to get inside. I'm going to get things set up. I'm going to talk to my team, make sure they're okay with me skipping PLC today. And um, I'll show you guys what I'm wearing. And then hopefully, fingers crossed, I can update you guys throughout the day. I would like to get like a week long vlog up for you guys. So if I do vlog every day, then you'll see that. If not, then you'll see bits and pieces, but I'm gonna just pick up the camera whenever I feel like it and we'll see where it goes. Hey guys, so I literally just got to my first prep hour. I got to school, I got everything kind of set up, and then it was kind of a blur. Um, so I'm gonna show you my outfit real quick. I'm wearing my Straight Out of Pencils t-shirt, and then I'm wearing my Chico pants from Old Navy, and my black teak flats. Um, and uh, yeah, that's kind of what I'm wearing. So this, uh, I'm getting ready to pump by the way. So this is gonna be kind of short. Um, I'm getting ready that we spent the morning going over procedures and expectations. And then when they come back in, we're gonna clean the desks. We're gonna organize everything that's in the desks, make sure everybody has what they need. Um, we're gonna see where everybody's at in math. And then um, we're gonna start a reading lesson. So far, the kids have been amazing. They've been quiet. They've been listening, following directions. I think they're a little scared. So um, yeah, my desk is a complete disaster right now, but that's okay because later on this afternoon when they do centers, I'm gonna spend my time organizing um, because I'm not gonna pull small groups quite yet because I just need this time to organize my room, get things handled, and my principal is not coming in today because I told her this morning, don't even come in because we're doing procedures and expectations and we're cleaning and organizing and getting back on track. And she's like, yes, they need that. So um, yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and pump, and I will catch up with you guys after. Hi, sweet boy. <coughs> Hi. <coughs> what are you doing all day? Where's mommy oh. doing in the box? Where's my mom in a box? Mommy's oh. in a box. I miss him. <coughs> Hi. Is mommy in a box? <coughs> Mommy's in a box. <coughs> <laughs> oh, I wonder if he like knows my voice. Oh, I'm sure he does. That's the most he's talked all day. Oh, really? Yeah. Hi, baby. Hey. Get mama. I hear you. <laughs> Hey guys, so it is 3.46 at the end of the day and as you can tell, my voice is going away and that is solely from talking so much. Um, my kids were great. I mean, they followed all my directions, they paid attention, they were amazing. So um, it really was that they just needed me back um, and I'm glad to be back. It, the day went by really fast, it felt really productive. Um, we kind of just cleared out everything out of our desks, got rid of everything, and um, went over procedures and things like that, and um, it went really, really well. I also taught them a figurative language, so they know all of the uh, different types of figurative language, and were able to practice um, identifying those. Tomorrow they will work on doing that in actual literature using text and so overall it was a super productive day. I was able to pump at every time that I needed to and still prep which was great. Um, my pumping time was about 10-ish minutes each time. Um, I know that I could probably go longer but I honestly don't really have time to go longer at this point. Um, maybe I will be able to do longer later on but at this time 
10 minutes is perfect and I'm able to get enough for what my mom needs um, every day for cash. So what I'm gonna do now is spend the last about 10-ish minutes. I'm gonna call my mom and see if she doesn't mind just um, making sure cash is okay until about five because I do need to go to the store and get a couple things like we don't have any tissues, um, we don't have any like a bunch of light bulbs have burnt out, just things that I need to get um, at Walmart really fast and um, hopefully she'll be okay if I make it before five. But I'm gonna clean up my desk because as you guys can see, it is kind of messy. I was able to clean off my small group table um, which before was a complete disaster and everything has kind of been taken down and put over here. Um, I'll, these are all like things that are holding like supplies that I need to go through and organize. These are library books that need to be put back. This all needs to be reorganized. This all needs to be organized and put away. Um, <clears throat> this, I need to get a new like poster holder for all of my like pinker charts. Um, and then like this stuff needs to be organized and put away. So there's a lot going on here, but it's productive. Like it's just going to take me a while. So right now during small group time, they are practicing expectations of small group work. So while they're doing that, instead of pulling small groups, I'm working back here to organize everything. And just that way next week we can really dive into our small group instruction and work really hard on that. So I'm actually going to just organize my desk. I'm gonna make this my project for the next 15 minutes before I can leave. And everything is all planned for tomorrow. I do need to work on planning math, but I think I'm gonna do that tomorrow morning when I get here because I will have plenty of time to do that. Um, I'm also gonna probably pull my desk forward because I have this like naked space that all those cords are like super ugly. So if I pull my desk forward and kind of out more, it will provide me with more space and hide all those ugly cords. So I'm just gonna get to work. So as you can see, I have a lot of work ahead of me. Good morning, guys. Happy Tuesday. Today is Tuesday, February 13th, and I am just at school. I got here at 7 o'clock, and I just had to get my desk area cleaned up and organized, and so I've kind of spent the whole morning doing that. Um, it's still not done. Like, that whole shelf needs to be organized and cleaned. I'm thinking I might just throw away all these old games because half of them are missing pieces, half of them are missing directions, and I just can't stand the clutter and I'm not allowing the kids to play with them anyways, so why keep them? And then later on I can just get some new games or something. Um, these things have nothing in them, so I need to like, oh well, this does have some Arizona textbooks in them, but um, yeah, I'm thinking I might just throw those away. I need to go through, well these are kind of organized and cleaned. This is all stuff that I've been like, that I've used and had like extra masters of. So that'll be like a summer project. Like again, I'll go through and put them in these uh, notebooks. But I have duty in about 10 minutes and um, just wanted to show you guys my desk. Um, I did move it over here and I am gonna utilize it. I wasn't using it in the beginning of the year um, only because I was doing the flexible seating and there just wasn't enough room. But now that the desks are here, I do actually have space and Yesterday I moved it up, so I have a good amount of space back here. I'm gonna take all of these home and unstuff them, wash them, and restuff them. So I'll probably do that over the summer. I'll probably cut them apart and take the stuffing out while I'm here. That way I don't have to carry all of them home, like all stuffed. But uh, yeah, and then this little thing will go in that little space. Um, look at that is all like ruined and I need to fix that. But I was gonna show you guys my outfit really quickly before I go out to duty. Okay, so my outfit today is this shirt. It is a long sleeve, kind of like bell sleeved shirt. I got this at a boutique in downtown Prescott called Fancy That. If you're in Arizona and you go to Prescott, that's where I got it. Um, just wearing a gray tank top underneath it. And then these are my 
pixie chico pants from old navy that i found they're kind of like a denim blue with like a white pinstripe super cute and then i have on my chestnut teaks today and then of course my lanyard is all done up with buttons I don't know if I've shown you guys these before, but I did get some more from Fernanda from my Secret Santa this Christmas, so I added those on there. And then, yeah, so that is what I'm wearing. Apple Watch, of course. And um, I have bus duty this morning, so I had to bring my big jacket because it is actually really cold out. I think it's like 40 degrees. So before I run out to duty, I'm just gonna have our welcome uh, stuff ready to go. I need to turn on dojo on that computer. I need to put up our good morning slide and Then I will be ready um, I also reorganized my cart because it was disgusting. I bought all new um, Mr. Sketch markers and regular markers for anchor charts. I put all my sharpies on my um, whiteboard markers they're back it's back to being organized and then this of course is just my stuff like originals notebooks things like that for modeling and then i need to take these to the office these are like attendance sheets and then these are handouts that i need to do later so just a lot of like organizing today is my second day back and i'm still like trying to clean and organize things like the whole back of the room is just messy with stuff because the kids didn't have any organization while I was gone. So I'm having to do that kind of now. And um, so I'll do that again today during small group or while they're working on a Valentine's Day project this morning. So that is my day. Uh, tomorrow is Valentine's Day and I will show you guys what I did for that. But for now, I'm just going to get this up and that way we can get the day started. So yeah, I'm kind of running around like crazy. I did not plan for math yet today, but I have like the lesson I'm planning to do. And if that doesn't work out, I might just do an hour of review and seeing what they know, but I'm probably gonna end up um, planning that during my prep time while I pump. And um, yeah, so kind of a crazy morning, but that's what happens when you return from maternity leave and everything is crazy. So, I'm just pulling up Class Dojo on here. Don't know why these are in I think those were for a student. So I changed the way my kids do attendance. Instead of moving their magnet, they click themselves in on Class Dojo and it makes it a little bit easier. Um, plus the magnets are all like gross and like their names are all scratched off and stuff. So it'll be a lot easier for them to just click themselves in on Dojo. Yeah, so okay, I'll catch up with you guys a little bit later. Hey guys, it's the end of the day and I didn't vlog anything. Things were crazy today. I had so much to do, so little time. Pumping really does take a lot of time out of my normal everyday things that I would normally do during prep time, uh, which is making, it makes things really difficult, especially if you're not like 100% pre-planned, which no one ever is because when do we have time for that but it is the end of the day i am packing up to go it's actually 4 30 and normally i would want to be home by now but i had to go to a read across america meeting because i'm on the committee and then i had the janitor in my room trying to clean while i needed to pump so i had to wait for him to leave I'm a terrible vlogger, by the way. I'm always cutting off my own head. But I have my milk. I have all my stuff. I have this little sign. Charlotte, before you leave, do you have these things? <laughs> because I have so much going on in my brain right now. I can't even remember what day it is. So, keys, milk, 
phone. I have to pee. Dishes. Do I have any dishes? No. Grading. I don't have any yet. Okay, time to go. Do you guys like my little pumping setup here? <laughs> it works. All right, well, that's it for Tuesday. We'll see what tomorrow brings. So I'm gonna go ahead and end this vlog now. If I end up vlogging tomorrow or Thursday or Friday, I will upload. And um, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.